Well, due to the fact that Michael Jackson's body was obviously in good health when he died, it looks like this is not looking good for Dr. Murray because obviously it's showing that the drugs he gave him is what did kill the pop star. So that's not a good thing. Well, in the meantime, Michael's three children are still recovering from the death that happened just over three months ago. And the kids still miss their father, but they're trying to, like, move on with their lives. Obviously, it's going to take them a while to recover. And they are seeing a therapist and stuff, so they are doing better, is what's been reported. Well, Miley Cyrus is back on tour. The, the star basically had to cancel a couple of shows because she got strep throat. And um, basically, she's back. However, she is not on Twitter anymore. I don't know if you heard this or not. If you're not on Twitter, you might not have heard this, but... The star was reported to have just shut her Twitter account down the other day. And it wasn't a big reason why. She just said her friend came here to do it. Her dad's been trying to get her back on because he's on Twitter. And her mom shut hers down too. But the rest of the family is still on there. We don't know if she's going to come back or not. But she actually did a little rap video about quitting Twitter. It's pretty funny. And if you want to see that, I'm going to put that on the website on the blog. Well, Backstreet Boys singer Brian Littell is basically recovering right now from the swine flu. So he's had to cancel some concerts, so be aware of that if you are into the Backstreet Boys, that he is definitely in recovery right now from that horrible, horrible sickness. And Tori Spelling is, re is um, refuting another article. She's saying that the article in Star, once again Star, it seems like I always get it wrong. They have this big article on the cover currently that says that she's 94 pounds, she's sickly, she passed out, all these lies. And she said on her Twitter once again that the, the article is lied. She's 107 pounds. She's fine. They can even come away her. So, yeah. Celebrity magazines don't always get it right. If you, I'm sure you found out. Well, Kanye West and Lady Gaga's tour got canceled, if you didn't hear about this or not. Basically, the re reason seems to be clear. Obviously, since Kanye West did that whole thing with Taylor Swift, the VH1 Awards, it looks like the tour, the tickets, they were just not selling right. So they just canceled. It was a mutual agreement. And it's obvious reasons why they did cancel that. So... Sorry about the tour. Some people were rather disappointed, but... Well, did Lamar Odom propose to Tara Patterson a week before he met Khloe Kardashian? It is unknown or not. This is kind of a rumor. It looks like he might have. And whether it's, it's true or not, it's not good for their marriage. Because they just married. They're only dating a month. They got married. It's quick. They've been married a week. But this is not a good thing for a rumor for a brand new marriage, so... They did get a prenup, though, so when it happens, hey. Kristen Stewart and Robert Patterson have been going to some wild parties in Vancouver. Looks like the couple's been partying it up, and they're saying they've been closer since the movies. Looks like they're getting closer in their relationship since the movies, so it shall be interesting. Obviously, they've got one more movie after this one, so see if it continues. At least through the movies, it'd be good for the movies, obviously. Kind of bad if they did it. Well, in relationship and baby news, they are combining it tonight. The reps for Kevin Jonas have asked Danielle for a prenup. And they're saying it's nothing against Danielle itself, but basically it's protecting him because he's got so much money. And some people are probably against that. It's kind of a secret, but it has leaked out. And Sex in the City's Chris Martin is now engaged to his girlfriend Tara. October 4th is when they got engaged. So, congratulations. And in baby news, Will Ferrell and his wife, Vivica, will have... Um, are going to have a third son that's due in January. And although rumors said that Syl, Syl, Syl's wife, Heidi Klum, had their fourth baby, she has not. She is still pregnant. So that's breaking a rumor right there. And CD and TV news this week. Backstreet Boys' new CD is out. It came out last week. It's called This Is Us. It's their seventh album. Seventh album. MTV will be airing DJ Am's series, Gone Too Far, which will start tomorrow night, Monday, uh, at 10 o'clock on MTV, so definitely check it out, it was controversy to run or not, it's like a, it's supposed to be a real good series though, so they'll definitely look into it. And due to foot problems in both his feet, Tom DeLay is quitting Dance with the Stars. It looks like his foot was hurting him, and then he danced last week, and his foot, other foot is bad, and he's kind of having foot problems now, so sadly he did have to quit the show, so sorry to see you go, Tom, but maybe it was good he at least tried. Well, that's all for your celebrity news. I got some, first of all, some DVDs. A lot of DVDs are out this week, or they came out last week. First of all, The Proposal, PG-13. That's Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds, romantic comedy. Land of the Lost, PG-13. Will Ferrell's 70s remake movie of the TV show. 
Drag Me to Hell, Alice in Loneman's movie, and this one's, um, I think it's rated R, but there's a non-R-rated version too. And Year One with Jack Black, the PG-13 caveman movie. And now we get the movies for the theater. First of all, we got Couples or Cheat, rated PG-13. And this film is Vince Vaughn and Kristen Davis. Basically, four couples go to a new age therapeutic resort to work on their marriage. And it looks like a big hit. It's actually the top thing at the box office this weekend. So definitely check that one out. And then there's In, in Education, PG-13. And that movie is um, about, it's the 60s. Let's take place in the 60s. And Karen Mulligan is um, Jenny, and she wants to crack the Oxford until she meets the playboy. David, played by Peter Sauvergaard, Sour, Sour, and basically she doesn't want the, her falling for him to wreck her dream. And Trucker, rated R. And this is the film of uh, Michelle Monaghan, and she's a film, female trucker, and she abandoned her little boy to her ex when he was an infant, and now he's sick, and so she has to take care of her 11-year-old son. And now we got the birthdays for this week. On the 11th, Michelle Hagenberry is going to be 24. On the 12th, it's Hugh Jackman. He will be 41. On the 13th, Sasha Baron Cohen is 38. And Kate Wallace is 42. And Maria Osmond is 50. On the 16th, John Mayer will be 32. On the 18th, Zach Efron will be 22. And Frida Pinn will be 25. And now your fall movies for this week. This is just a couple shows on this week. Obviously, they're just wrapping up. There's only going to be a couple more. Ugly Betty will be on this Friday. If you didn't, if you thought it came on last week, something happened after we talked about it, and it got delayed. It will be on this Friday at eight. Um, at its new day and night. And Nip and Tuck will be on Fox um, on the 14th. Thirty Rock will be on NBC on the 15th. And Super Nanny will also be on Friday, ABC on the 16th. And definitely check the website out for the information on those shows. That's all for your celebrity news. I'm Holly Johnson. Don't forget to check us out on the web. And a new feature, I've got movie trailers for all the movies we talked about tonight. There's the Miley Cyrus wrap. I'm definitely going to link from all the YouTube stuff. So definitely check those out as well as the blog. And have a good night. See you next week.